The Teen Phantom Part 22 in audio. The living quarters accommodate four students with four little offices adjacent to it. They are very nice. I have made one my second home for several years. I suppose the tuition is very high. I could not answer that, Susie. I am not in the finance part. We have a program so you can work out your own tuition. You could make more money working for a friend of my father's than at any other job either of you could get around here. You need to know your computer well, we have the best computer classes that exist, as well, I enjoy talking to both of you but we should find Carol so Jim can spend some time with her, she is missing some prime time with Jim, I am looking forward to meeting her, she is a smart kid if she is aware of Jim's true value. I take it you think highly of Jim. Very much so I would respect you to the highest degree Bill if you would not call me a chick. Bill is so embarrassed he has a look that makes Charlotte feel sorry she had spoken what she did. I am so sorry Charlotte. I will not use chick that way again, I feel like a hypocrite, I am against using slang and speaking things that I don't mean, here I have been doing it all the time and didn't realize it, there is no way I could think of you as a little chicken, I value your concern. I hope you believe me, I never intended any disrespect by it you certainly have my greatest respect, and you are an unusual and well-mannered lady. You may give my sis a reason to get her act together, though you are a bit young I am sure you have no competition in mind. I don't know what it is about you, your personality is like a powerful magnet. Bill, why don't you and Jim, go find your sis, and bring her over here? I will stay here with Charlotte that is if you can manage to pull yourself away from this powerful magnet. That is a good idea Susie, come on Jim I think I know where we can find her. With a bit of embarrassment Bill looks at Susie, that was not a bit funny, I was just being seriously honest. Bill was just being honest, Susie is a bit jealous with the magnet thing. Please do not tease Carol, Bill. I won't, Charlotte. The boys are soon out of hearing distance, Susie looks at Charlotte as if she is assessing her, you really hit it off with Bill, you are so close to him in personality it is enough to be his own sister, your persona sure does not fit your age though, I have never seen Bill amend his ways because of some little girl's thoughts. That is not true Susie I reminded him of what he intended to do he is not amending his ways because of what I think. Susie is embarrassed, what you say is true I am just a little upset about the magnet thing, I know that is true too. I want to be your friend and I don't even know why. How old are you? I would rather not say. Age does not count anyway. It does with boys. They are the least of my concern. You being only eight I can see that but come sixteen the bees are going to be after that honey. I am twelve, you have missed in your assessment. I am sorry I don't mean to assess you, you are just a stunning curiosity. Susie starts telling Charlotte a little about Carol's problems with drugs, and wild parties, she thinks Jim really likes Carol but the problem is he will not live that kind of lifestyle. Jim would not turn to that loser life, not for the most gorgeous female in the world. You and Jim must be very close. He is like family I consider him as my own brother he is very thoughtful and loyal, anyone who thinks of hurting Jim will need to eliminate me first, I do not look for trouble, but I do not run from it either, no one understands Jim as I do. You believe in true loyalty don't you, you would be a true friend, you will shake Carol up right good, you are just what she needs. You're different from most, you must have many friends, and you are not one to think of yourself. I noticed your earrings and necklace but it doesn't look as if you use any makeup. I see no reason to fake your looks. Most put on a ridiculous amount they just try to hide behind it. The sweet real you is covered with a lot of gook. For those who slobber on each other's lips I don't understand the benefit of the lipstick. 
You don't mind letting people know what you think you are not rude though, you are like Bill he doesn't like me with any makeup, I would feel undressed without it, no need to think of lipstick, he will not kiss me on my lips anyway he says it is too close to having sex and if I have anything on my cheek he says he isn't about to kiss a painted wall. Do you think I put on too much? Will I still be your friend if I tell you what I think? It doesn't matter much you will still think what you think. That is true you should not care what others think live life as you see it you should not go by others appraisal. That is true but I would appreciate your opinion. I think you would look very cute without any makeup. You are very clever aren't you, you know how to convey your concept of criticism with a compliment. Don't forget, I still want to be your friend after being honest with you. You should please your husband, until then, your boyfriend, I would if I had any respect for him, if he wanted me to put on makeup he would need to find himself another girlfriend or perhaps a mannequin. You don't look to be 12 years old but you are as resolute as any adult that I know of. A good relationship has nothing to do with age. I have very close friends from the ages of 6 to over a hundred. Over a hundred? You really have close friends over a hundred years old? I don't know anyone over a hundred. The generation gap they speak of is a cop out, it is everyone's duty to relate and understand others in spite of age. I will have to admit you speak with authority on that subject, with your persona I am sure you could cope with those of any age group. You're too young to start using the popular terms. I never will be old enough if that is what promotes vulgar talk I have pleasant English words to express myself, I do not need all that filth and perversion, I would never put myself that low I live my life with dignity. You see it just like Bill does, he has me almost broke, it is hard when I am not with him. That is only because you think he is wrong, you think it is just old fashioned, you like to fit in with the crowd. I pay no mind to what people think, I live life as I see it, I want to be different I pick my own environment and culture. You assess me correctly I like to fit in I think it is old fashioned. If you are happy with that I do not see that I should be concerned, I want my husband to love and cherish me, no one is going to use me for sex, I will not settle for love less than three dimensional with color. Susie seems to be upset and looks away. Here they come they found her and in a good mood too. Carol is some taller than Bill, she has hair similar to Bill's, the color is lighter and she is very beautiful and like Bill she has a very sweet personality. As they approach Jim says I want you to meet a friend of mine, it is Sasha Charlotte Chatman, most, call her Charlotte, Charlotte, this is Carol Russell. Charlotte looks at Carol with a friendly smile and concern, I am very pleased to make your acquaintance, Carol. With seriousness Carol looks into Charlotte's eyes in awe and with a distant look, says I am pleased too. Oh no, Carol, with change of expression she blurts out, Chatman did you say Chatman, Jim. With a look of terror, Carol turns to Jim. Yes why what's wrong? Is this the Chatman kid you tell me tutors you the one that helps you with your school work, helps you cram for your exams, when you decide to skip school for a few days? How long have you known Charlotte? Jim blushes with embarrassment, he feels he has betrayed Charlotte but he does not want to lie to Carol. It has been a little over three years. Do you really think Charlotte could help me improve my grades? She is just a little 12 year old. With an uptight attitude, Carol says, I don't know. When Jim's eyes meet Charlotte's, she says it is okay Jim. With an apologetic approach, she says to Carol I am so sorry, I am the Chatman kid I am the one that wanted him to keep it a secret, it does not matter now, my mother did not even know about Jim. She met Jim for the first time today just before we came to town to shop. I decided my mother would just have to face the facts, 
our secret certainly is not because we are ashamed of each other or our behavior either, and our relationship is very upright and respectful. Carol turns to Jim. I cannot believe you would do this to me, you made me think this Chatman kid was a boy. I did not tell you it was a boy. No but you would say don't worry I will do great on the exam that Chatman kid will stomp it into my brain, what else could I think, but that it was a boy. If you knew Charlotte you would understand what I said, she knows how to make you remember, if you got too out of control, she just might do some stomping. Bill has a grin that looks ready to break into an out of control fit of laughter, he ducks his head, turns, and walks away. You would not expect me to betray Charlotte, would you Carol? I am very grateful for what she has done for me, no really for us, I know you do not realize it, if it was not for Charlotte, I could never have done the things for you that I have, neither would I be the kind of person I am today I am much more considerate of people's problems, she has caused me to be much more concerned about your happiness. Bill pulls himself together enough to join them again, no doubt, he does not want to miss anything. He makes it back without anyone missing him, Charlotte thinks. You give Charlotte a chance you will learn she is the most caring person you have ever met neither of us would do anything to hurt you, Carol. She is the cause for the decision you made that drugs and parties were not your thing isn't she? Well, I guess you could say it that way. Jim seems to be having a slight problem, she gave me a new interest in life, she and her friends give me strength to live my own life rather than just going with the crowd, I realized she was right in everything, I have not proved her to be wrong so far. With a very serious look, Carol says, her friends. Yes, she has many friends I mean real friends, they are ready to put their lives on the line if needed. I suppose you being the first on the list. I would like to think I was, though, that is not the case but she has some very loyal friends. It really bugs me, everything is so secretive in your life, you will not tell me where you work, or what you do on that part-time job you have, sometimes, I have even thought maybe you were dealing in drugs, but I know you detest anything connected with drugs or liquor. You are not a burglar or bank robbing type. You won't tell how much money you make, you just act as if money is never a problem, and your parents are certainly not wealthy. I never mentioned this before Troy Lakey saw you pass a little package to Kim Brock she works for the political phantom, then two days later when I started to question him for details, he said he was mistaken and that it wasn't you, I don't believe him. He acted like he was covering up something. He could have realized he was mistaken, Carol. Yes, but I still think he was covering for you. Carol, you and Jim should go and enjoy each other for a while, we don't need to start back home for a couple of hours. Jim is a great person I love him as my own brother, I love you very much too. Something deep within you is so precious. I hope we see a lot of each other in the future, do not be foolish and throw your life away and the happiness you can have with Jim, it is worth a lot to have Jim as a close friend, you are very fortunate to have his love and care, don't underestimate Jim, I am not saying you are, just give it some thought, ok. From Jim's expression, Charlotte knows he is shocked at what she said to Carol but he looks very pleased. Carol looks at Charlotte with misty eyes, a few teardrops escaping, I will, Charlotte. I appreciate your honesty very much, Carol takes Jim's hand and they head for the Russell reunion. Bill turns to Charlotte. Would you object if Susie and I keep you company or we could take you where you need to go? I would not think of keeping you from your kin. We met them all, I am not popular with my kin anyway. That is true most of his kin think he is a wimp because he will not laugh at their dirty jokes. He doesn't want me around even the women, he says they are worse than the men. Bill sits down on the opposite side of the table, 
he looks into Charlotte's face with an expression of keen interest for some time, Charlotte looks at him with seriousness, she glances over at Susie then she looks down at her hands on the table.